season on the road. Play action. Ball knocked down to the line of scrimmage. They tried to get it to Travis Hunter, but Ty Robinson batted it down right away. Again to the air, quickly behind the line of scrimmage, and a drop. Two incompletions to get started. LeJounte Wester had it, and the drop brings up third down and ten. He could have that one back. Only incentivize the crowd here in Lincoln. Third and ten. It is so loud. Nebraska brings four. Sanders in trouble. Down he goes! Ty Robinson batted down the ball on the first down and comes up with a sack on third. What a great three-play stretch for Ty Robinson. He won his one-on-one. Kind of starts with him up front. Nebraska converted over half of the third downs last week. Their first one here, third and ten. Ryola has got a lot of room to run, and he picks up the first by himself. Hit from behind, it goes down to the 37. Cameron Silman, Craig, finally got Back is now Dante Dowdell. First year on campus after transferring from Oregon. Ja'Cory Barney, true freshman, around the left side, breaks one tackle. Close to another first down. A giant hit absorbed on the sideline. 13. And then Ja'Cory Barney just picked up eights. Play action, completes, and that's Jamal Banks, the transfer from Wake Forest. Good spin out to the 25-yard line, and a gain of five. One and one via the pass, first down and ten. First drive for Nebraska tonight. Dante Dowdell, big room up the middle, and a strong finish to the 11. The Oregon transfer gets another first down. Shiloh Sanders made the stop. And I like the tempo that Nebraska is playing with right now. Another tough side for Colorado. They're starting safety. Shiloh Sanders, six-year senior, moments ago, leaving the field, going into the locker room. For more, here's Catherine Town. Ones to get the most carries, and they've seen that so far tonight. Dowdell again, up the middle, and into the end zone! Touchdown, Nebraska! This one begins first and 10 on the Nebraska 37. Sanders in trouble again. Second sack tonight. Nash Hutmaker. This is what they talked about all week. Win your one-on-one -on -one matchups. He does, and he gets Shadur on the ground for a big sack. Colorado allowed only one. In this offense, I like their decision to go for it. Early test for the Buffalo offensive line on fourth and one. Offered all, cuts it back, met at the line of scrimmage, didn't get there. Fourth and one, he lost two. Makai Bayer had the most tackles last week, and he was waiting for him in the hole. Five out of five, but a conservative 12 yards. They bring four. Raiola, plenty of time, and more. Steps up, little fling out to the far sideline. And a completion and a gang tackle there by the Buffaloes. Well, John Tay Wester back to receive the punts. Well, that is a boomer. And he'll just let that bounce inside the 10. And it takes a Cornhusker gentle roll down to the two. Well done, Brian Buschini. They've had the ball twice. They have negative 22 rushing yards. Shador Sanders is starting, is standing in his own end zone on first and ten. Seven yards deep. Let's it go to the sideline. Pick six. Tommy Hill. The short run to the house. They're a couple big plays away from just jumping right back into this game. Empty backfield, three wideouts to his left. Four-man rush. Sanders in trouble, trying to escape. 
Eyes downfield. Once again, he goes down. Third time he's been sacked. MJ Sherman gets him for a loss of five. I mean, the pressure from this Nebraska defense is just relentless. They are coming from every angle. Quickly. And a right now catch LeJonte Wester. Big hit on the 25-yard line. They get a little bit back. They found success getting to him, just bringing three or four. Colorado 0 for 2, converting on third down. Quick drop. Between the hashes and completes. Through the hands of LeJonte Wester. Second time he's got both hands. Return to this game. Catherine, thank you. Back to the ground game for Nebraska. Big hole into the second level goes Dante Dowdell. He got down 10. Ramir Johnson is tailback. He tries it up the middle. More space inside. Breaks a tackle down to the 32 yard line. Motion to the game upstairs. And this time dials up a run. Dowdell again inside the 10. Leaping inside the five. Flag is out. Out where the offensive linemen's. Second down six, back-to-back -back run plays, wrapped up from the backside. Cameron Lenhart was there to greet him and rip him back, and so far tonight. Second down ten, another linebacker blitz. Shifting and finding an open man at the 34-yard line. A good open field tackle, Savelle Smalls, the tight answer. Needs one here on third and eight. Another five-man rush. Sanders, sacked again! Down to the 32, Jamari Butler in. Loss of two. Just Jamari Butler is relentless at getting to the quarterback. He got Raiola, play action, stands in, floats one. Thomas Fedoni absorbs a hit and picks up a first down. He gains 12 on first down, and when you're running... They're desperate to get off the field. Down by 14, couple of tight ends in the game for Nebraska. Third down and two. And Dowdell remains the tailback. Give inside. Colorado was there right away. But Dowdell, with the strength at the finish, dragging Deion Hayes for that extra yard to move the chip. Brought to you by TikTok. They hand it off once again. A skip there and a, almost a burst into the second level. Out to the 40-yard line. DJ McKinney with the game. Doing it for the Huskers. Dante Dowdell is the back on third and short. He leaps for it. And he is going to be right there, maybe just enough. Prime time, it's nice to turn and hand the ball off with that kind of success. This time it's a play action. Rolling, looking, letting it go to the end zone. What a catch to come back and get it on the two-yard line. Jalen Lloyd dropped one earlier. 36 yards, sets him up first and goal. Arm strength. Dante Dowdell, the tailback, he smells a second touchdown of the night, and he gets it. And you're in a hurry. Linebacker blitz, just as he was hit, a little too high for Hunter on the outside to bring up second down 10. Sanders, linebacker blitz coming, steps up, fires to the end zone, too much. The pressure was about to get him. He wanted Hunter, but that brings up fourth down. Into Shadur Sanders' lap. He just got nowhere to throw. It just it collapses so fast. And Colorado has to settle for a field goal here right before the half. See, Travis Hunter frustrated. I think he wanted a different kind of delivery there to have a, a different type of a chance. Alejandro Mata out to try and erase that zero on the left side of the scoreboard from 30 yards out. Low, blocked, no good. The one field goal he made last week was awfully low above the line of scrimmage. And this time he pays for it. Five receptions, but he has shown frustration throughout this quarter. In one of our breaks, he was on the bench all by himself, about 20 yards away from his teammates. Let's see if they get him even more involved. Now, there you go, a catch and not much of a run. The pursuit near the boundary there has been very good. Nebraska brings four. Sanders escapes the first man, but not the second. Sacked inside the 10. By James. 
Right now showing just a three-man rush. They end up bringing four. Sanders spins out of trouble and just flings it toward the sideline. And once again, the Nebraska rush wins. Ty Robinson and Jamari Butler in first. I mean, we've been calling Ty Robinson's name all night. He gets a one-on-one -on -one match. They'd like to get to the 35 to really think about a field goal. Look at that pocket. And a bullet down to the 48. Giant hit. Two flanks come in. Linebacker Trevor Woods gain a 16. And that could cost him the rest of his game. Raiola, here comes a safety blitz. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted and caught. And a touchdown run here, Johnson. Wow. Four-man rush. Nice job of stepping up. He's got a lot of room to keep it. Almost brought him down by his jersey. He did not get out of bounds. Tommy Hill, nice tackle. Picks up only two. Clock ticking. Got to call timeout. They got three left. Clock continues to tick. You're not that far from field goal range. And ten seconds later, they get one. I mean, we are so late following a timeout right now. First and goal from the six. Sanders in trouble, dumps it off. LaJonte Wester, form tackled at the 12-yard line and driven back by middle linebacker John Bullock for a loss of six. And Tommy Hill looks the other way. Ball batted down. Bullock once again got in and made the play. Back. Going right into the loudest part of the stadium, the student section to the left of Sanders. Empty backfield. Sanders in trouble, spins out of it. Gets new life across the 15. Throws across his body, knocked down. Makai Bayer, second pass in a row, knocked down, and it's fourth and goal. And Riola to begin this drive. Boy breaks a tackle around the edge across the 25, and a strong finish. With a power at the beginning and the end for 14. Brian Buscini gets it away. Boy, and it's a gorgeous punt. Turns it over. Perfect spiral from the 13. Wester. Oh, he's hit by his own man there. 24 after going three out of seven in that first quarter. He has been sacked four times. Little play action. In the pockets. And he's sacked again at the 36-yard line. Cameron Lenhart provides the fifth for the Huskers. I mean, Cameron Lenhart right here is going to get nervous. So there was a real spotlight on him tonight. He has 13 carries. Swing it out of the backfield. A nice catch there by Johnson. That touchdown catch earlier in this game. Sprints out along the past the 20-yard line. Picks up 13. Born Husker first down. Start of the second half of last year. Riola. Again over the middle, and that is a perfect touch pass out to the 43-yard line. And he hits his tight end at Nate Borkerchen. Emmett Johnson now the tailback, and they go with the reverse down here to the near sideline. Ja'Cory Barney with an alley. How much do they love to get him the ball? Pass game, run game, and if he asks him to move, wants that answer to be yes. Third down and one, quarterback sneak. And Sanders will be close there. I'll come down to the mark. So that brings up fourth it. down. Oh, he didn't hang on to the ball right away. Offered all. No chance. Loss of two. John Bullock. It's Colorado defense. And the game not done. A little over seven minutes left. Little crossing route on the run is Ja'Cory Barney and still moving. Penalty marker came raining in as he fights to get down inside the 30. So a giant plausible gain of 51 yards. There. Terry That's McCauley. a huge play that gets called back and on, on a questionable holding call there. I know Terry was watching. What'd you think? Paul Colt, that's just not a foul. He's got an inside grab. He drives him to the ground, even stumbles a little bit. 
absolutely not a foul for offensive holding. Isn't that what you call like a pancake? <laughs> Fence has been coming through from start to finish. Two minutes left. Four Huskers lead 28 10. His father, Deion Sanders, watches the backup Ryan Staub here on four, then to 11 wins. And Ryan Staub stepping up as he was being dragged down. The ball, was it picked off? It was batted into the air. Gives the ball back to the offense. Yeah, I think this call's gonna stand. Willis McGahey looks like he gets there and knocks the ball out before Ryan Staub throws it. Jamari Butler falls on it. At 27 tonight. Victory formation for the Cornhuskers. And this will be victory number two for Nebraska. Offense scored, defense scored. They were in control the entire way. 73rd meeting. Sees the Cornhuskers roll 28 to 10.